Hi, my name is Jan and today we're talking about my dot files. This is my Linux setup with Erbslift WM and I hope I can show you a bit about how I use it from day to day. So this is my physical setup. I'm using two monitors, but I split the main one into three. I'll get more into how this works later, but this is the reason I use Erbslift WM as it has a very flexible implementation for displaying multiple monitors and virtual monitors. Here are some timestamps if you want to skip ahead to some specific configuration. Also, in the description, there's a link to my dot files. I manage my dot files with simple zoom links to my dot file directory. For example, I want to add the zshrc. I would just run ln s my dot file and then the folder where it needs to go. And then I can manage everything else inside the git directory. This makes syncing my complete dot file directory very easy. Erbsluft WM is a manual tiling window manager, so I can create empty frames for windows to fit in. Frames can have multiple windows and can switch between multiple layouts like horizontal, vertical, max and grid. You can still move windows like in i3 and BSP WM inside of frames and to adjacent frames. This keeps windows in place while I move them around, so it's a more static configuration. Now for the virtual monitors, you can set monitors with the Herbs client set monitors command and specify any region on the screen as a monitor and you can have as many as you like. So I got my left monitor as a 1080p screen setup and specified three monitors for my main screen, the middle one being 21 by 9. Windows can be toggled to full screen and will stay inside these monitor boundaries. This also lets me specify an empty region for my bar, so even full screen applications won't block it. I set the frame border to be slimmer than the window borders and bright orange helps a lot with finding focused windows. I normally set the center screen to floating mode and all side screens to vertical tiling. This way I can freely position my windows in front of me and still have nicely organized side screens. I use the Jonah Berg PyCom fork as it's very nice with these animations in a tiling window manager. Command is set as my mod key. I use the usual mod plus arrow keys for focusing in directions, mod plus numbers to focus or swap a tag, and mod shift plus arrow keys for moving in directions, mod shift numbers to move windows to a specific tag, and with mod backspace I cycle between monitors. This means the virtual monitors. With mod C I cycle between windows in the current frame, and with mod tab I cycle between all windows on the current monitor. Mod Shift Q is for normal closing of windows. For frames, there are Mod U that adds a frame below and Mod O which adds a frame to the right. And Mod Control Space which just splits the frame into two parts depending on how the windows inside of it are positioned. Mod R removes a frame and Mod S toggles the floating mode for the complete monitor, with Mod F being the full screen key. Mod Period and Mod Comma moves to a next or previous tag excluding the visible ones. Mod space cycles between frame layouts. These frame layouts make everything very handy and with the specific combinations I have for cycling between windows inside a frame, you can easily hide windows behind another so you have a very cleaned up workspace. For the way I have my static configuration of layouts, it's very handy to work with. I use polybar as my main bar and I only have one on the center screen. As the monitor settings can be changed on the fly, I added a button for toggling the center screen to 16x9. Very useful if you want more space on the side screens. Also right clicking this toggles the floating mode to the current monitor. Then there's a toggle button for lazy mouse focus. As there are so many keyboard shortcuts, I wanted to avoid adding ones that I might just forget. That's why these two just live in the bar. Then there's the usual widgets for CPU usage, memory, GPU temperature, volume, date, and power menu on the right. Also the tray. On the left there is the default tag switcher, which shows me which tag is visible and focused, and if there is a hidden tag that contains a window, it will be colored white. The center one shows each virtual monitor and which tag is currently visible on it. This makes swapping monitors very easy, as you can just click the monitor you want to swap with. Scrolling anywhere on the bar brings you to the next, currently not visible tag. Dunst shows notifications on the center screen in the top right corner. This helps a lot as in Windows I always miss notifications as they just appear in the bottom right corner way too far on the side of the screen. Ultra wide issues. I use Rofi as the run menu. I normally just use it to open applications. 
the double column layout makes it easier to see a lot of your apps if you have many of them. I can switch to the window list, but I rarely use it. I also added a power menu with mod Y. Nitrogen is added to the Herbsluft auto start with the restore option for wallpaper management, as I like having this gallery chooser for my wallpapers. I also name them horribly. <laughs> I use Termite as a terminal. It's set up with ZSH with plugins for syntax highlighting, auto suggestions and reverse search. My ZSHRC includes separate files for shortcuts and aliases. In the alias SRC I have some shortcuts for git commands and docker compose and some things I only use on my macbook. So I might split this file to be platform specific one day. I use Emacs, specifically Spacemax, as my main editor, even though I sometimes use VS Code for some projects. I set up the Monokai theme as I started programming with Sublime Text and this was the default theme there, so I liked it a lot. I'm also a fan of some Grovebox themes, as I like the brownish background. I also use Redshift for warmer color temperatures when working at night. And my root partition is the ButterFS volume, so I can easily roll back when something goes wrong. This works very well with the Grub ButterFS Snapshots tool, so I can directly boot into a snapshot. Snapshots are done with Snapper, and it also has the Snapper GUI tool, so I can easily verify if snapshots are done properly. I still needed to add an X4 partition, as Steam was not working very well with games being installed on the ButterFS volume. I'm very happy how this is working, as it's very close to my ideal workflow. I would still like to have some more additions to it, like a visual tag switching tool like the GNOME Desktop Switcher, so I can see which windows are open in not visible tags, and a way to easily grab a window from a not visible tag to my current one. If you have any ideas, feel free to tell me, and have a nice day!